It was strange the way it happened. One night there I was playing my game console and it sort of happens, you know, the, the gamer's nightmare. The game crashed. I was really, well, really upset because, you know, I was almost at the point where I completed it. So I turned the console off and turned it back on and it just wasn't working. So I just had to do the other gamer's nightmare, a master reset. Usually a full master reset would take like two or three hours. This took about 10 minutes, which I thought was really weird because it was basically full up with all of my games. I turned the console back on and uh, it, there it was. It was, there was this game that was there. It just appeared out and just appeared. It had no name. It was just a smiley face just staring with some sort of reddish background and uh, I thought nothing of it. I had to do what any other gamer would do. I would have to get all my games back, all my save data back, everything. So which would take hours and it did take hours. So a few weeks went past when I was playing on my games and I got bored playing with them or I've completed them and deleted them. I thought I'd I thought I'd give this game a go. I turned the game on and and uh, the screen started flashing. Red, blue, green, purple, gold, silver and then the, sc the screen went completely black and these words just slowly emerged onto the screen. Play at your own risk. Of course, naturally, I thought that was just like another cheesy little horror game. And still no, no name of the game. It just said at the bottom of the screen, press start. So I, I pressed start and then it asked for my GPS location. So I gave it permission. And that's when it got really weird. I started off in my own street. It was weird. It was, I was actually, there I was in my own street. And I would see neighbors walking down the road. I just found myself walking up the road, walking up to neighbors' gates, going into their front gardens and just, as you do, just open their front door. I could literally go into their house and have a good rummage, have a good look round, go into their bedrooms, see what they do and open their drawers, you know. It's, some of the things I found were even funny. Some of the things I saw were, well, best kept quiet. But the more I was playing, the more obsessed I got with the game. The more obsessed I got with the game, the more I had to play it. So as like the weeks go by, I would be playing and playing and playing. I wouldn't be eating, I wouldn't be sleeping. I wouldn't be doing anything. I'd try to sleep. I would wake up, my hands were ready as soon as I woke up. I just, no matter what happened in my life, I just had to get back to that game. And as more days went past, weeks went past, more updates kept coming in. More updates to the point where I had to delete my favourite games just to make room for the updates. So one day I thought, you know, enough's enough. I've got to, I've got to get out. You know, I've got to get out. I need to go for a walk. On my way down to the pond, I had a really itchy eye. So, you know, I took my glasses off and rubbed my eye and and then all of a sudden it was 
the game was in my eyes. I could see the how far in the corner, I could see the map, I could see the time and date, and even see the little health bars above all the little people as they walked past. Of course, naturally, I just took it as withdrawal of symptoms and playing the game too long. Um, so after a few days of like trying to get away from the game and go out, it, it started happening more and more. It was horrible. It was, it was almost like the game was trying to bring me back to it, to play it. As the days went on, it got worse and worse. It's happening more and more. And now it's starting to, I know it sounds weird, but starting to control my body. I was walking down the road to go and see my friend and my body just stopped moving. I couldn't move. And I felt my head moving. And I couldn't move my eyes, I couldn't move my lips, nothing. Inside, I could hear myself screaming. I just couldn't... I just couldn't find the energy to move. It was... I was just standing there watching some nice little old lady drinking her coffee outside a cafe. No idea why why it made me stare at her. She just looked at me as if I was just some, I don't know, some sort of freak and I didn't like that. So she picked up her chair turned it around so her back was facing me and I thought hopefully you know I'll be able to move now but no I I couldn't move it was only until she waved to the manager or waitress or whoever it was that my body went limp and I was able to move so I didn't want to cause a scene or anything so I just walked off. I've never been so scared in my entire life. And I thought, I I need to I need to lie down. I I can't I I can't walk anymore. I need to lie down. My eyes are hurting, I have a headache. I feel completely drained. So I managed to get home. I just collapsed on my bed and shut my eyes. When I opened them, I, I was in the middle of town, just splashing about in the fountain, sh shouting abuse and just waving me fists in the air like I was punching something. It was, I don't know why I was doing that, but it was just a good thing that it was the middle of the night and there was nobody there because not only would I have been reported, it would have been extremely embarrassing. As the days went on, it got worse and worse. And I started going out at night without realising. I'd open my eyes and there I was in the middle of the town or down some alley or down some street or whatever. And I wouldn't be able to control my body. I would just walk and barge past people and push people as if I was looking for a fight. That's not like me, I'm, I'm not a violent person. I don't, you know, I wouldn't dream of hitting someone up. I'd, I'd be too scared, I really would. But whatever was taken over me, obviously wanted to fight. Luckily nothing big came out of it. I got the occasional push back and uh, slap across the face. I just don't know why this was happening to me. So one night I was I was playing the game and I was walking down the road 
still looking in people's houses and having a good nose and all of a sudden it just flashed white on the screen which took me by surprise and then it said congratulations how what I've not done anything and then some words came up on the screen which I couldn't focus on really clear because it was all blurry but as soon as it focused it said now the real game begins with that I dropped my controller I stood up walked out the door I was no longer in control I was literally 100% taken over the visions of the game were you know in my eyes it was almost as if the computer game was now in my mind I carried on walking and I stopped in big red writing it said target found which had never happened before no idea what that meant but then my head turned and saw this guy just walk past he was obviously very well built he was he was had a red haze all over him and I just watched him move along the road my legs started to move and started to follow him in his direction I was getting more and more afraid because I didn't know what was going to happen I literally thought if I pick a fight with him he's going to kill me the guy went down to an underpass and I followed him in what gamers would call a stealth mode I was shouting, I was screaming for his attention. Nothing was coming up my mouth. And I don't think he would have heard me anyway because he had his headphones on and listening to very loud music. I got up close behind him and reached, reached my hand out and gently laid it on his shoulder. The guy turned around fast and then BANG! I snapped his neck. There I was. Holding him. His eyes wide open. Just... St staring at me. And I just let him go and he dropped straight to the floor. I wanted to run off but I couldn't. And as I was looking at him, I thought, this is somebody's child, husband or partner or he could even be a father and with that I just walked off. My legs started to move again and just stepped over him as if it was nothing and I couldn't, I couldn't look back, I couldn't, it, I had just killed someone cold blood and it just went over my mind again and again and again I was gonna get arrested I was gonna go down for murder I was gonna spend life in jail and they're not gonna believe that it wasn't me they're not gonna believe that someone's taken over me and 
but I know it wasn't me. It wasn't me. I know it wasn't me. I never did it. I never did it. I've probably gotten away with it. But the more and more I watch it in my mind, the more and more I, I got used to it. And the more I got used to it, the more I kind of enjoy it. The more I enjoy it, the more I love it. I loved watching it over and over again. The game was completely controlled my body now, and I know for a fact that it's going to kill again.